Today we'll be returning to the world of Growcraft. Before we get into this video, let's do a bit of a mental health check. Please go down in the comments and just let me know how you guys are doing. Do you guys have any plans for today? How are you guys doing? Are you guys feeling good? Personally, I'm gonna be honest, the whole daylight savings thing, yeah, it kind of threw me off a bit. I'm feeling a little bit out of it, but that's okay. You know, that's why today we're just, we're having a chill day. We're playing some Minecraft, we're recovering, we're recouping, we're getting back in the swing of things. See, for most people, daylight savings is like a dream come true, right? They get like an extra hour of sleep. But for me, you know, personally, I can't, I, I I barely am able to get like a solid eight hours of sleep most nights like usually you know i'm in that seven to eight hour range i don't have a problem with that but it's just you know staying asleep for longer than that i couldn't do that so last night i tried to stay up for an hour longer than i usually would just to accommodate it because you know i'm a very schedule orientated person i wake up at the same time every day i go to sleep at the same time every day because i mean you gotta remember i make these videos on a daily basis so i structure literally all of my days around my work but yeah by the time that i got to that point where i'd normally be going to sleep i was literally sitting in my futon last night just like you know i was sitting there doing one of these where i was like bobbing back and forth trying to stay awake it was something let me tell you but we're here we're alive that's all that matters it's another day you know we've been blessed with another day to live the older i've gotten the more and more i've realized that every day is a privilege it is a gift so even on your days where you're feeling a little bit off seriously just appreciate it make the most of it and just you know be happy be thankful to be alive i don't know how much wood we need necessarily we already have a stack and we got like a bunch of oak logs so i think we'll be good there we don't need a whole lot right now i'm just trying to fill out some of the floor and you know like filling like the ceiling and the walls just trying to make it feel a bit more cozy i can't wait till we get us out are you able to craft saddles i might have to see if there's like you know if i'm able to find like a village or like something underground that has like a saddle inside of it actually before i forget let's go ahead and look maybe uh maybe i have to be at a crafting table for it to show up if possible i would like to acquire every kind of animal in some sort of like pet farm like i want a cat i want a couple of dogs i was talking about it in the last part but i also want to build like maybe even like an aquarium of some guy now look my ocd is pretty bad so i'm gonna fill in like this part of the wall with cobblestone when it comes to like building in minecraft right like you know most people would probably just like cover the, the the main parts up with wood and then leave some holes in the walls but you know me with my ocd i would know that there's holes in the walls and it would just it would bug me to no end so i guess for now you know i could have made this little hub room a bit bigger but i mean again it is basically just a hub room to take me to other parts of you know like that house i was also thinking about this last night why 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 should I only have entrances to other rooms in the corners, right? Like, we have the bedroom over there, and we have, like, all this stuff. But there's still, obviously, plenty of room over here. Like, if I would create a little hole right here, that gives us, like, what? Like, three, four, five at least six blocks to work with to make another room out of so i was thinking like maybe uh instead of putting my bedroom back there i could put like my bedroom over here or you know maybe i could leave the bedroom there and then over here instead we could have like oh i don't i honestly i don't even know what we could have but you know maybe we could leave our pets in there maybe we can make like one room dedicated to like dogs one room dedicated to cats or maybe i can make one room that's entirely dedicated to my pets and then like another room that's maybe just like a library or a lounge or something like that but then again if i'm gonna make a library i'd you know it'd make more more sense to make that like an enchanting room so i don't know i'll have to figure that out but i'm thinking so, well we have two fences so we'll go ahead and label them i'll just oh uh, you know two rooms that are just there just for the aesthetic right so we'll make one that's like a lounge and then another one that's like oh wait i probably shouldn't put it there because i'm literally about to destroy this wall in 0.2 seconds so I'll, I'll put it on the crafting table so i remember but like i don't know the the pet room actually before we do too much more it is almost nighttime so we're gonna go ahead and you can only sleep at night you know what and that, that's close enough the sun the sun is going down let me sleep and just like that don't mind all the stuff on the screen i might have gotten a bit click happy but it is another day in the beautiful world of growcraft i guess i ought to go ahead and pull out the old stone pickaxe because uh yeah i do got a bit of mining to do and i don't feel like going to get more iron just yet oh gosh i forgot how painfully slow stone pick okay you know what we're we're gonna unload some of the stuff in the chest we're not gonna go too mining crazy now but yeah let's go get some more iron real quick while we're here at the crafting table i do want to see if it's possible to actually like, craft up a saddle okay unfortunately it doesn't seem like we can actually craft a saddle so i'll have to try to come across one of those whenever where wherever they spawn here we go we got two stone picks just in case and now let's see yep we do got a pork chops on us uh man you know what i'll probably got the steak as well just wait where do, oh the steak's already in my inventory just like that we are off hopefully we don't get to oh wait that's right i just remembered that in the like two episodes ago we found like that mini cave literally right next to our house i can't remember for the life of me where it was actually at but i remember it was somewhere nearby is this it over here 
it. It seems like there's like a big drop off down. Uh, I'm so confused. Was I imagining that? I could have swore that a couple episodes we had just found it. I'm literally like running laps around the house right now and I can't seem to find it. No, I think, wait, is this the one I was thinking of? Yes, this is the one I was thinking. Okay, yeah, like I said, it's literally right next to our house. I don't know how I wasn't seeing that. I literally ran like three laps around the house. But anyway, here it is. I can already see the iron from where we are. So I'll just, you know, try to carefully drop down here. You know, I don't, I don't want to be too clumsy now. I know we're still like technically really close to our house, but you know, if I can avoid death, I will. I don't need a ton of iron. If this is literally, if this, if this could just be like a pocket of three iron, that would literally be perfect. It's only two. I guess we'll jump down into the water. Let's see. Uh, oh, yes. Okay, there's more iron back there. And just like that, we have just enough to make another pickaxe. So we're going to go back home now again. You know, I don't, I mean, I, I guess we'll look down here for a second. I mean, I don't think this will lead to anything. Yeah, it's literally just a dead end back here. And there it is. Just like that, we have all the iron that we need to make a new pickaxe. Look at it. It's so pretty. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and toss just, you know, some food in the furnace just so we can keep cooking some stuff up. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and start building in the walls of our little house cave thing. I think for now, I wanna go ahead and fill the walls in with wood. I mean, how does that, I mean, uh, I don't know. Having like wood on wood, I feel like it might look better if we do like oak wood walls and then we replace the floor with birch. There is some birch down there. Uh, I mean, I mean, I feel like it looks fine either way, but it's just, you know, it's like, it's so much wood. I, I feel like going with oak walls and then maybe like birch flooring, you know, a nice cream floor could look good. I got to think long term here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to make another axe and we're going to go get some birch wood. It sucks having to go all the way out there for the trees and stuff. So I think while we're out there, I'm going to try to grab up some saplings and start planting them like all around here so we can actually get some like life going out here. Don't get me wrong. I love the clear glass, like grassy plains and all that. But at this point, I literally have to go like half a mile to get any wood. Whoa, I just noticed this. Whoa, we, we went so far like last time you know to look for a cave when we went mining little did i know that there's literally a cave like right under our noses okay so next time we need to go mining i'm just gonna come back to this forest look at it it's a puppy unfortunately i don't have any i don't even think we have any bones back in the chest even once i'm a bit better equipped we will have to stay up one of these nights and then i can go out get, you know get some bones it's getting a little dark so we're gonna start heading back here in a moment but we almost have a full stack of just straight up birch logs so we won't have to worry about birch wood for at least a little while how do spiders attack me yup that's my cue as soon as i start getting attacked that's my cue to go uh, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's also like those raider villager things. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with them. That does also mean that, you know, because now not only have we seen a wandering villager, but now that we're seeing those uh, pillagers, I'm assuming that that means that there's a village of some kind nearby. So I'll have to grab up the map and we'll go exploring probably in either the next episode or the one after that. Once we get set up with our base here, my next goal is gonna be to mine a little bit more to get like a full set of like iron tools to get comfortable with like my iron and stuff like that. But then I also wanna explore and like fill out the map. Obviously, it's a series goes on we'll create more maps and you know fill those out even more but you know for the time being i at least want to fill out that starter map that we started the world with now with all that being said yeah like i said like you know the oak wood does look really clean but i do like a little bit of variety so for the time being i think we'll replace the floors with birch just to you know kind of have that like diversity it's unfortunate because i did spend all that time planning down all this wood last episode but it is what it is at least the house isn't any bigger right now before we fill out the rest of the floor let's just oh yeah that that looks really good like i said it's a really small thing. It's real subtle, but just that little bit of diversity with the birch and the oak, it really does make a world of a difference. And plus, maybe I'm just weird, but I just, I love the look of like cream floor. But now that we got the flooring situation settled, now we can go ahead and fill in like the ceiling and the rest of the walls. One thing I'm unsure of is if I want to replace this part, because like obviously this is what you see on the outside and I kind of want to keep this looking natural. I feel like just having a little bit of wood here and then cutting right back to the stone might look a little weird, but then again, it might look kind of cool because it shows that, you know, I've inhabited this place, so... I, I'll leave it as stone for now. I'll have to consider it though. I think I might switch it to wood temporarily just to see what it looks like. And then if it ends up looking weird, then I might change it back. That's the beauty of Minecraft. Nothing you do ever has to be set in stone. You can kind of just experiment and figure it out as you go. I could also change this wall, but I think I'm going to leave this wall as is for now, just because this goes down to the mine. So there might be, you know, I might have to resituate it or move it around a bit yet. So, you know, I don't want to change that one just in case. But as for everything else in here, like this is set in stone for now. So this looks pretty good between like the oak ceiling and the walls and then the cream floor. Like I'm really glad that I changed that. Otherwise it, it just would have looked like one big old block of oak wood. But 
yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this. this. This feels nice. It feels cozy. I definitely want to move some things around, though. But I'm going to wait to do that so we get the bedroom situated, which we'll probably work on next. For now, I got to go through and relabel everything, though. So I think we said, yeah, that was going to be the bedroom. And then over here, we're going to have the kitchen. And then over here, we'll have the pet room. And then on the other side over here, we'll, we'll make this some kind of lounge. You know, we'll get some, like, couches, maybe some sort of, like, TV or something in there. We'll get, like, a gaming PC and, you know, like, some consoles and, like, a reading corner. We'll just, we'll make that just one real nice cozy little lounge but anyways with that being said we made some good progress in this video we got to go mining a little bit got a new iron pick which means we'll be ready for the next time that we go mining you know to get more iron and hopefully maybe even some diamonds uh while i was out i did get a bit more food and obviously our wood situation is looking fantastic i spent a lot of time going through and getting wood today obviously you know we already had to use some of it but we still have a good bit here we got a ton of cobble like look at all this cobblestone that we have in the chest like this is absolutely insane and then obviously we got to fix up the house a little bit still a few things i'm unsure of like you know this wall over here and this wall and then we got to expand and start building out here but again we made some decent progress in this video and you know i'm really happy with how this world is starting out so far but with that that's where we're going to conclude things for today if you guys you know anytime that you guys if you guys have any like ideas or suggestions or recommendations whatever it is also just feel free to let me know and if i end up digging the idea i may even implement it into the world but anyway as always a massive shout out thank you to all the patrons and channel members thank you to all in the low ball tier and you make a shout out thank you to all in the big ball tier mellow asking and big daddy many in the biggest shout out thank you all to all in the g tier right on veggie channel cheese girl thank you guys so much you guys are literal legends i love you thank you guys for watching have an amazing day stay beautiful i love you all peace